Why do young people join extremist groups? And what can governments do to stop terrorists recruiting them? To attempt to answer these questions, officials, activists, and members of international organizations gathered in Baku for the fourth World Forum on Intercultural Dialogue. Organized by Azerbaijan authorities and the United Nations, this year's forum welcomed members from 50 organizations who engage in combating extremism. According to UN experts, travel restrictions to conflict zones have helped slow the flow of foreign terrorist fighters to ISIL in comparison to last year. Nevertheless, the problem of terror recruitment remains. Since the Syrian war started, the Islamic State has enlisted an estimated 30,000 foreign fighters from 100 countries. The method of recruitment differs country to country. Usually, most of uh, people are talking only about internet-based recruitment, what happens. But at the same time, as we did a number of uh, surveys, and we realized that uh, family environment, uh, cultural, social groups at the community level may play a very, very proactive role in recruitment. Research has found that religion is not the only reason for radicalization. Women, who make up 10% of foreign terrorist fighters, sometimes join the groups after facing Islamophobic attacks or harassment. But they're usually drawn to such sex in following their husbands, fathers or brothers. After they discover the reality, they cannot take a step back. And at the same time, they receive really bad treatment at, with these fanatic groups. So I hope that through such kind of conferences that we have here and the media coverage of this, we warn them from any enemies that they don't see. Young people suffering from social exclusion also join violent terrorist groups in search of collective identity and recognition. Often they are unemployed youth looking for money, a common situation for Africa, says an activist from Burkina Faso. Many countries like my country, as my country in Africa, are very, very poor. Uh, many pe people don't go to school. Some don't arrive uh, six years in school. They recruit uh, those who cannot go to school, those who went to school but not finished, and some of them who have finished but no job, no job, to, what to do. That's why education and literacy are so important, conference participants say. They stress that it's necessary to understand what's missing in the education of those affected to change it. One of the challenges that our universities are facing is that we are still not able to teach our students and young people how to distinguish good and evil from each other. A lot of times we see that young people, they are so brainwashed that they believe that the negative and radical ideologies that they belong to carry positive messages, carry the right messages. They are ready to kill for those ideas. Foreign participants agree improved education alone will not prevent youth radicalization, but it will develop critical thinking. Together with a raft of measures, better job options and tolerance towards migrants, these skills may be the prevention tools needed to deter young generations from joining terrorist networks. Yeah.